Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Digital Couch. It's just me, Mathis, as always, and uh, welcome back to some more Stellaris. Last episode was kind of a big one. It was an extra long one because we were in three wars total, I think. Um, and that's why our current empire, uh, or should I say, wouldn't, it, wouldn't we wouldn't even, con I don't think the Vision would consider themselves an empire. They're simply the only logical next step for organics to stay alive. Anyway, we've, uh, we're a bit spotted out all over the place because we went to war a couple times and at the very end of the ep last episode, a League of Three recognized our danger and decided to do what they could to try and stop our assimilation. However, we proved to them the power and efficiency of said assimilation and uh, we pushed them back. Not only did we win, we took a chunk of their territory on top of it and I'm very, very likely to go to war very soon again. In the meanwhile, we've been doing a little bit of kind of cleanup over here for our uh, territories, which I think are doing pretty good. OK, so we've got everything upgrading and I've got a bunch of things building. I did that last night and uh, we're going to get going here. I got to say, doing these late night recordings has been kind of fun and, and nostalgic. It's been very nostalgic, I think, for me. Um, kind of reminds me of back when I worked at a restaurant at the time, Cheesecake Factory and then working like weird hours and close opens and then coming home. Uh, oh my God, a scientist can die? Oh, cause it was a uh, cybernetic. Uh, but yeah, coming home and then having like, knowing that I'm exhausted, but having to, I wanna get rid of you. We're gonna dismiss you, goodbye. And th knowing I needed to record another two hours, you know, uh, of stuff and then being up late and only getting a little sleep cause I really wanted YouTube to work and I was on that grind. And it's not the full feeling, but it has been a bit of a similar feeling. Synthetic. Yeah, let's go with you. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. Uh, I would never want to go back to those days. Don't get me wrong. I have no interest in, in being exhausted all the time. The puppies are doing that enough for me right now. Um, but it's it's very, uh, yeah, it reminds me just a little bit of that because I'm staying up late recording after, you know, all my day's work is done. It's been, it's been fun. Um, all right. Yeah, that was that was a you know I think back in those times in my apartment and having started YouTube fresh and God I did not think my YouTube career was going to lead me to basically being a podcaster not not remotely what I thought was going to happen but I am not I'm not complaining. All right, we've got a construction ship that's doing nothing. We've got another construction ship that's doing. Uh, Augmentations completed. Uh, we got something there. We'll get those all filled in. Our ships are currently being upgraded as we did get some new tech for them. And we also got living metal, uh, which I don't know what that does. I have no idea. Like we, we researched it and then nothing happened. So I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. If anything, is it like in here? Living metal mega construction lacking six goop. Uh, the inherent properties of a living of a living metal makes it perfect for improving proving mega mega structure construction. I don't. Maybe it makes building mega structures faster. I have no idea what this is. It's like it looks like a splash of mercury. I'm going to look for those those particular things, but I don't know if we have it. I would imagine because it's attached to something what I would assume is kind of powerful. I imagine that uh, it's probably super rare, whatever it is. I'm going to keep going at normal time here. Uh, our fleets are about as much as they can be. Uh, we want to make sure we are also building and filling things in here. So we got three shipyards here. Where is this? I didn't even think about having that. I should probably have something that has like multiple shipyards. I don't know if I want it to be this, but it already has it. It has no defense. Uh, target uplink. Sure, we'll go with a targeting uplink. I, and I Does a star fortress count? If it's already a star base, does making it a star fortress matter? I don't know. Evasion minus 100%, but you get a ton of armor modules. So we want to do right. All right, we're going to do it to one. 
Upgrades, okay, it's already being done. I wanted to see if we go, if it goes up one. I can't imagine it would. I don't know what to do here. Market fee, 30%. I, am I selling this at a no, normal time? We have more food than we need, but I'm not going to complain about that. Um, yeah, the other concern I have is the Ego Collective. The Ego Collective is apparently insanely powerful. Are they gone? I thought I thought I remember them being crazy powerful. Devouring Swarm, Temperature, okay, yeah, that's them. I don't know what Devouring Swarm means. It sounds like what I'm trying to do. Oh, we don't know. I'm pretty sure they're like superior and stale, whatever that means. Crisis Aspirant are would-be harbinger bringers of galactic doom backed by unknowable powers. I don't like that. That scares me. So we're going to start infiltrating. I really think this needs to be my next focus. I just need to know what I'm looking at here. Actually, can you go? Ship augmentations completed. Ship augmentations completed. Go Ship assist research. Completed. The Xenac Eliminators declared war on the Uri Consortium. I'm not mad about that. Though I am a bit concerned regardless. Zero, zero, 001 Continuum. Uh, Custodian Protocol 1153 activated. Oh, they're ancient caretakers. Message follows. Attention synthetic civilization. Due to temporary communication outages, the Custodian Project is experiencing difficulties in replacing malfunctioning and damaged worker drones. Analysis of your civilization has found the performance of priming units to be adequate for carrying out low-level maintenance tasks. We request the transfer of a single worker population unit to Alpha Complex for integration into the Custodian Matrix to help ensure the continued survival of all organic species in the Alpha Refuge. I don't want them to be mad at me, but I'm not trying to save the org the population. But we'll give them one. We'll give them one. We'll see if that, you know, anything kind of comes of that. So, are they doing anything over here? Like, why is nothing being built here? So what are we, a mining world? I would imagine you would want to make, like, something that's going to get us. All right, well, we might as well get an alloy maker there, and we can turn this mining in uh, and fill this up. We have 16 slots on this world, so we might as well. Put four living quarters. Yeah, I think we balanced it out pretty well. The more blockers we clear as well, the more we'll have room. Stellar Devourer. From deep within the star of the system emerges a gargantuan being, larger than a typical moon. Its body radiates heat the same wavelength of energy as the one produced by the system's star. It's eating it. The creature feasts on sunspots, devours solar flares, and we have interrupted its meal. The beast exudes light waves, rapid pulses of an intense frequency like a fluorescent roar. Where is this? Oh my god. I'm imagining this thing is impossible to kill. Uh, where are you going? Hostile fleet assets engaged. No, dude, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Oh man. We lost an entire fleet. <laughs> Uh, okay, that was, uh, okay, you know what? Lesson learned. Yo, this place, Generator World. Let's go, uh, Machine Assembly. A Bioreactor would be good, though we don't really have the spare food that we're generating to do it. Um, yeah, we can definitely fill this up. We should be producing more food elsewhere, so let's go ahead and make sure we're getting some hydroponics up in some areas. Can I put like a restriction of like, don't go in here? Our spies report that the Eagle Collective is close to p possessing enough information about the L-Gates to unlock one they control. This would give them access to the L-Cluster and its secrets. 
If we are to get there first, we must double our efforts and find insights into the L-Gates. I mean, it seems like L-Gate research seems to come up randomly. I'm not sure I have much of a cho choice in regards to that happening at my own time. Uh, I wish it would, but it's not gonna happen. We still have this armada. Let's just throw this armada at him. That's what we should do. Send the unknowable, annoying, expensive people to go take care of it. The Garanchu League is really small. I can't go to war with them yet. What about the 001 Continuum? Ancient Caretakers. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. They're very powerful, it looks like. 119,000. Uh, let's make sure we're friendly with the 001 continuum. Uh, we can't do anything other than just be the same. We're fine. The Garanchu League, I can't go to war with yet, I don't think. I think it's still too early. Is target of Cassus Belli from a bunch of people. Yeah, they have a truce with us for till 2319. Yeah, we've got like seven more years of peace between our people before I can truly bring them into the into the fold. Uh, where is... We still don't know the Ego Collective's power, which stresses me out. I feel like we need to go ham here. Really get these defenses up. Let's get a starport in there. We'll start buffering this area. It's really our only inn. Uh, they don't have a good inn beyond here, actually. So if we focus here, I think we can be okay. I think we can take this war once I know what their strength is. I don't think we can take it right now. I'm just saying we will at some point. <laughs> uh, let's go back to colonizing some other areas we don't have colonies for. I don't know why I'm not. Uh, I don't... Yeah, let's just send you in. Taurus primed accidental D, but that's fine. Alpine world. We'll throw a few in there. Only 40%, so. As long as we're not doing those holy worlds. Okay, let's just let those colonies go for now. I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to take a hit when it comes to money. Almost done with this one. We can get a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, we got everything on the way. I don't know what to do with the resources, dude. I don't know what to do with them. I know I'm maxing out, but I don't know what to do. All right, so you're full. For the moment then, since you're maxed out, you're gonna be just kind of our watcher, our watcher on the border, you know? I wanna make sure we have plenty of fallback defenses. Yeah, we just got insulted. The Garanchu League just insulted us. I don't know why they feel like insulting us when there's peace between us right now. Maybe they're feeling ballsy because they are allied with somebody. But don't don't mess with me, man. I'll mess you up. I don't know what's going on over here with the Ketlo. Oh, this Ketling Star Pack is still very weak. I could probably swallow them whole very soon. They're in a trade league, which I don't know. Trade markets and economic growth. So I don't know if this means they'll go to war with everybody. All right, there we go. The, these guys are going in my, my wonderful. Let's slow it down a bit. Yeah, they're not going to last. Construction complete. But hey, I don't have to pay for them anymore. Cool. Bye-bye. Ooh, that's a long trip. Our fleets are still missing, huh? Here, I'm going to dismiss you. And head to our fleet manager real quick. Our contract with the mercenaries is done. We don't... Yeah, we're going to let them go for now. I'm happy with that. And uh, we got 
Prime Nexus unlocked, which I don't know what that is. It's an administrative need to start empire as numerous as the com our complex will rise to the occasion. I think it's just another unlock for our buildings. Yo, we got energy siphon. Uh, lifespan, pop growth, which I think would be good. But we might as well knock this out. Proton launchers. Yeah, cruisers are going to be big and we can redo our fleets once we have some cruisers available. Okay, that's this base. I am going to... We are 18 of 17. But I think we really need to bring this one up and maybe we'll downgrade a couple others. We'll take a look. Unspent civic points. Sorry? Reform government? Modifiers? Relations? I don't... What? Change government form. Why would I... What? It's a breakdown of our population. I don't know. Rock breakers, rapid replicators, introspective, factory overclocking, construct bot, building and district cost minus 15% and a one and a one building slot across everything is really good. Maintenance drones also produce unity. That's very good. Waves all unity costs for drone resettlement. Eh, I don't really do drone resettlement. Mechanical pop assembly speed faster. Rock breakers. Static research. Unitary cohesion. Mo monthly unity. That might just be worth taking. The monthly unity might be valid. The one thing I want to take. War bots. Zero waste. Robot upkeep is cheaper. Well, I want to try and stay focused here. I, I do have a fear of like going too wide. So I feel like, but we really do need unity. So I feel like maybe the unity co cohesion for a little bit more unity every month. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I have to reform my government before I can take on an additional civic. Uh, despite your many previous blunders, we pray that the vision will recognize a true path to follow in the upcoming vote. Empires that have been denounced or are in breach of galactic law have penalties applied to them. I can't assign an envoy. I could join the galactic community. Is it worth joining? If I join them, can I go to war with them? <laughs> Let's join them and see what happens. I'm willing to jump in. So we can now use the marketplace. I'm going to oppose. Where am I? I have 1.8k. That's not a lot compared to everybody else. Looks like my fleet power is at least equivalent to most. So what's after that? Mil minor empires that have been denounced are a breach of galactic law. Have penalties applied to them, have penalties applied to them. But what? I oppose this one as well. <laughs> like, I don't know. Natural sanctuaries? Uh, I oppose. Uh, change council size? Set the number of positions in the Gal galactic council to two? Isn't it three right now? You want to bring it down to two? For now, I'm going to say no on that. Repeal recycling. I'll support repealing recycling. Relocate the galactic market to where? Tianki pest control. I don't, I don't know. Is Tianki bad? Nominate custodian. interesting let's send an envoy we can send multiple envoys actually let's send two envoys for now it brings our weight up quite a bit 
So we could play that game, but it's not really, I don't really see that as our, our way of doing things, you know? This fleet is at full strength, excuse me? How is this fleet at full strength? Can somebody explain that to me? I don't understand. <laughs> How is that possible? All right, well, let's go get them upgraded and then maybe... I don't know what the hell... I don't know how that thing's... It's at all... Remotely... Okay, I don't know. Oh, okay, so this is a fortress now. I didn't realize it was done. Okay, 6,000 health. This thing looks crazy. We've got a bunch of new slots. Um, I definitely want to put another shipyard in there. Another missile battery and a second shipyard. And then our food is okay. We can put a hydroponics bay in there to make sure it stays okay. All right. And then what's next? We can do a bunch more of these. Uh, upgrade Citadel. We are lacking. We, we are also lacking Citadel technology. Okay. <laughs> We're building a destroyer? Why are we building a destroyer? Did I click that? Can we build destroyers now? Oh yeah, no, we can. I was thinking cruisers. Construction complete. A new council. Oh my god, I'm on the council. I've chosen a new council. Uh, how did I get? Oh, you idiots. I mean, geniuses. Hmm. New council size? I support it. Maybe I can bring it down to just me ruling. That'd be hilarious if we went robot rulers that way. Not what I want to do, though. Are there any more envoys? Um. We'll throw one more in there. I just want to see what kind of power we can get ourselves. 3.4, it's not really great. We'll leave it for now. I don't know what the council gives me powers to do. I didn't really think they'd put me on the council of all things. Okay, so now I can make changes, it looks like. The greater good. Denouncement. Of the Garanchu League, Ketling Star Pack, and them. What about the Ego Collective, y'all? I could use you for the Ego Collective. No empires are likely to support this decision. That's fine. Unchained knowledge. Diplomatic weight from tech goes up. Research station output goes up. And starbase outkeep goes up. I'm okay with this. I'm going to go ahead and propose it. I'm assuming it gets thrown to the bottom. Yeah, it goes there. Okay. I see how this is starting to work. Comfort the Fallen. Space Fauna. Sanctions, Environment, and Technology. Rules of War. No Rules of War. Mutual Defense. Ready the Shield. Diplomatic Weight from Fleet Power. Naval Capacity. Crisis Declaration. It's the Ego Collective. We're not on here, right? Sanctions. All right. Interesting. So these are the modifiers over here. All right. Well, actually, let's look at the market. Are, is this selling now? Like, are we actually making money off this? No idea. Ship augmentations. End of the state of Neri. The star nation formerly known as state as Neri has been destroyed by its enemies. Oh. Who could that be? We still have no idea what they're what they're doing. They're they're at war with two others though, so this might be the time to like do this. I gotta wait for my army to kind of come together though. Guardian Angels Act. Diplomatic weight from fleet power is less? 
No, I don't want to do that. Army upkeep 5% more. Defense army morale. I do not agree with that at all. Hey, we got cruisers. Ooh, destroyer hull points. Fusion missiles. Fusion missiles too. Cruiser hull points? We can go with the cruiser missiles because it's faster for now. Now we can go into our fleet and change it up a little bit. So first let's look at... Well, yeah, a prime one. Let's go. I can't bring it down, huh? How much do they take up? Armor. They take up four. Well, we they passed the Guardian Angel Act. Me no likey. Angie, Angie Mathis about that, but whatever. Means my diplomatic weight probably dropped quite a bit. But I'm still 3.3. The assemblers are way higher, and that does stress me out a little bit. Technological acquisition successful. Energy siphon finished up nice and quick. Uh ooh, the fortress we could unlock, which gets just warrior drones get basically our ground armies get better. Fleet naval command up by 20, which I think we need. So I think that's what we're just going to have to take right out the gate. Ooh, another alien we haven't come across yet. That's very surprising. Technological acquisition successful. Fusion missiles. Awesome. Elgase insight is what we want. Executing evasion protocols. We're under attack somewhere. Okay. Gamma aliens are out this way. Shazarak assemblers have leveraged their council powers to declare the resolution, change council size to two, an emergency measure. Uh, they want me off, probably. Here, let's just go throw this guy at him. Oh, I can't move him for a while. Shit. I would be kicked off, I think? I think most people are going to say settlement procedure it just might not matter overall. Especially if they abstain. No. We, we, we were able to pull it off. Okay. Okay, these gamma aliens are just like some weird other living species. It's fine. Whoa, whoa, what happened? Custodian protocol activated. Initial, initi initiating war asset transfer to compliant synthetic intelligence. Oh, what? Oh, because they helped. I helped them out. We graciously accept three escort class ships. I don't know what that means. Are they very powerful? Six escorts? I'm very confused. Oh, there they are. Well, well, well. Thanks for helping me out. You're going to help me assimilate. That's what this is for. Okay. Hey, we got enough unity to get our last supremacy one, which I'm excited for. Fleet command limit's going to go up by 20. Admiral cap uh, level cap goes up too. And we get to pick another Ascension perk. Uh, nothing here. Seems like we care enough. Uh, Eternal vision, Vigilance, Grasp the Void. Starbase capacity could go up by five, which also would be really good. I think I'm going to take the five Starbase capacity. Grasp the Void. That's going to be so much better for us, and I can go really ham on defenses as well. I think that's going to be the value there. We also unlocked the last of the missiles. I wasn't, I probably not in the video. Uh, so we ended up picking capacity subsidies after just to get some more credits. But yeah, um, we can take on more star bases now, which is really good because over here, I'm going to just make this a secondary one. Uh, because once they pop through here, they're going to have to hit this one too. So if we can get two really hard stops, uh, we might be able to really weaken them Early, early, early. Oh, yo, and now our fleet can be bigger. I didn't even... <sighs> we got to manage that. Okay, first, 
I want to throw more cruisers in. And we'll say, go reinforce that. Go reinforce it. Oh, we got two technologies finished. Uh, terraforming. Naval capacity. Let's go with... I don't know if terraforming is all that valuable right now, but we'll go for it. Plasma accelerator, which or advanced reactor booster. These are all... Less energy leakage as a projectile travels through space, so I imagine more damage, right? Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, yeah, what do you got? Patterns in the energy flow. They are everywhere, yet no one sees. Numa alone can predict the divine ebb and flow of the stock market, and for a small donation, we'll be able to share some for you. Uh, as always, on, if you need time to consider, we can notify you before we depart your territory. Uh, I don't really... I'm not doing the stock... I'm not really playing that kind of game right now. I'm not interested. I appreciate the offer. It's just not who we are as a people. Acquisition successful. Uh, Senate floor is in session. The galactic community is now voting on a new resolution. Uh, why well, I'm opposed to it, apparently. What is it? Oh, minor military sanctions. Yeah, we're basically in space NATO. I oppose. We may leave this freaking community if it's not valuable to us. Oh, we need new research. I didn't realize. Uh, upgraded drone storage, mechanical pop assembly speed up. Um, mining orbit, mining station output, just general mining station output. 10% up, that's going to be a nice bump. Uh, we have been implicated in a plot against the Ketling Star Pack. So vague is the allegation that we cannot definitively state whether or not they are onto something. Our own species spies protest that the allegation is baseless, claiming this is likely either defensive counter espionage response from one of our targets, or else a smear campaign being conducted by some third party. Whatever the reason or cause, the Ketling Star Pack have taken offense. I mean, okay. I'm not too worried about them being mad at me. No, I say no. Join me, Ketling Star Pack, on the no side. We oppose. We oppose. We oppose. Fossilized remains from several different species that do not appear to have been indigenous to Mulsier Prime have been found in a large secluded valley on the moon. They all date from roughly the same time period within the span of a few centuries, some 3.6 million years ago. All right, we've got a fossil site to dig up. All right, that's good. We got now more of that. Uh, minerals from drones. Habitat. An orbital habitat is a theoretically self-sustaining orbital permanent habitation. Well, that's short. I feel like we need to be getting some of that old tech out of there. Okay. A lot of prep has been done. We have our entire fleet basically all here. And now the question is, do we declare war on the Ego Collective? And I think the answer should be yes. But that's something we'll do next episode. Thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been super fun to do. The vision continues to grow and maintain itself the best it can in a galactic world that does not want to see it succeed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.